Hello and welcome to the Decoding DevOps course. So you are here to be a DevOps engineer or consultant or architect or anybody who wants to work in DevOps. But let's be real. There are many tools. I know you must be already confused by looking and searching through the internet, through different courses. Many technologies are there. We have Git, Ansible, AWS, Azure, Jenkins, Slack, Kubernetes, Docker, and more and more technologies are coming. And in DevOps, it's not just about learning technologies and tools. It's also about integrating them together. Hey, but don't worry. I'm not here just to train you on tools and technologies, but to also show you how it can be integrated together. My name is Imran. I have more than 11 years of experience in the IT industry, in DevOps and cloud computing. I am certified in a Red Hat in multiple areas in Ansible, OpenStack, Cluster, OpenShift, Puppet. Also, I'm AWS certified in DevOps and security, also SysOps. Also in my distance past, I have done some more certification like VCP, RHC, Python from EDX. I have knowledge in DevOps, cloud computing, collaboration, and scripting. And it's really about my passion towards training and sharing what I learn and what I implement. So why should we really learn DevOps? If you are someone who are transitioning from some different job role, maybe like a developer, or tester, or non-IT person, and you want to get into DevOps, you must really have this question in your mind. So I want to give you three very good reasons why you should learn DevOps. Well, one, of course, it's one of the top skills that employers are looking in IT industry. And I'm sure you must have heard this several times, but I'll tell you why it was. But before this, let's look at some numbers. So this is one of the survey from industryarc.com. And it says DevOps market is forecast to reach $12.5 billion by 2025. So it is definitely going to grow. And also let's read this increased need for faster application delivery, which you will understand in the upcoming videos what that really means. Now let's look at some more numbers. Okay, this is Atlassian DevOps Trends Survey 2020. Atlassian is a very big and trusted name in DevOps. Tools like Vagrant, Terraform, and Jira, many others. So this is really the last year's survey because this year is not yet completed. So let's look at some points here. Okay, so DevOps is now a corporate term and really I think this was pending a long time. Okay, so look at here. Over 90% said DevOps has a direct impact on business metrics. That means being a DevOps, you are going to impact business. But here's the problem. 85% of respondents have faced barriers in their DevOps implementation. Now that's where you come in. And that's a big, big number. I mean, really in 2021, because DevOps has been there some really long time now. The first term DevOps came back in uh, 2010. And still people are having difficulties in implementing DevOps. Okay, now look at this, lack of skills, legacy infrastructure. Now that's what you're going to develop in this course. You're going to learn skills and you're going to learn new style of infrastructure, cloud computing, containers. Right, so 99% of respondents say DevOps had a positive impact on their organization. So you're going to put some impact for sure. But again, 78% had to learn new skill. So if you really want to make impact, you have to learn skills. And there are really many more numbers. I will put the link in the resource section from where you can download this report and really read about it. Okay, so that's one point. Of course, DevOps is one of the highly paid job. And you can check this survey, you can check Indeed, Glassdoor, Quora, you can post your question on the Quora. You can Check payscale.com. Now the reason people are ready to pay high amount of salary to DevOps is because of the lack of skills, which we have already seen the statistics about it. And this is the most important reason why you should learn DevOps. 
In the next video, I will explain what really is DevOps and what is continuous integration, what is continuous delivery. But over here, I want to tell you something about the third point. All companies are making software delivery better constantly and continuously at an enormous phase and what that really means. So from a long time, IT industry was divided into really two zones, you can say, development and operations. You know, in development, you have developers, testers, build and release, anybody who is involved in creating and testing softwares. And the ops side, system administrators, cloud engineers, right? Uh, the list is on and on. So operations side is involved in delivering the software or its features to the end users. And over the period of time, because of Agile and many other methodologies, development has become very fast, but the operation is still slow. So the software and its feature are not getting delivered as fast as it's getting developed. And we know business comes from the end users. So DevOps really solves this problem of delivery, which I usually say DevOps is like logistics for the software delivery, as you have logistics to deliver or distribute your product in the retail market everywhere. So anybody in the IT industry who is involved in developing or delivering the software will really need DevOps because, hey, everyone wants to deliver their product quickly and efficiently. And that's why they need DevOps and that's why they're able to pay or they're ready to pay good salaries. So DevOps is here and it's not going to go anywhere for a long, long time. So anywhere you have code, any kind of code, which needs to be delivered, it's a web application development, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, wherever you have code and end user, you need DevOps. But what exactly is DevOps? Is it a tool? Is it a technology? Is it a company? Is it about programming? Is it about creating software? There are so many explanations of DevOps. And over the time, really, it's getting difficult for people like me to explain DevOps because there are many things that get integrated in DevOps. So it, it's really a matter of perspective when people give their definition on DevOps, but I want you to go through the next video and understand what is DevOps, what is continuous integration, what is continuous delivery, and after that, we'll get back to business.